Hello there, I'm Stéphane Duprat, Converge Database Specialist at Oracle. Today, we'll show you a short demo about AI Vector Search. AI Vector Search is one of the more than 300 new features of Oracle 23AI Database. A new vector data type has been created in the 23AI Database that allows you to store vectors. But what is a vector and what it is used for? That's what I will try to clarify through the following demo. So let's get started. Vectors, or more precisely, vector embeddings, are generated by an embedding model that captures the semantic of unstructured data, for example, text, pictures, videos, audio, etc., and generates a numerical representation of this data. There are a lot of embedding models on the market, and they are usually specialized to convert a particular type of data. Some models convert text, others can convert pictures, and so on. In this demo, I got a free text embedding model and converted it to the ONNX format. Then I used the new 23AI DBMS vector package to load the model in ONNX format into the database. We can query some dictionary views to get information about our embedding model. Here we can see that our model was named doc model, and this is a ONNX model. And here we can see that this model inputs text data and outputs a vector with 384 dimensions. Then we can calculate directly vector embeddings using the new vector embedding function and convert them to vectors with the two vector function. Here you can see a partial view of a vector composed of 384 dimensions, each one being a float 32 number. The final goal of calculating vector embeddings and storing vectors in the database is to support similarity search queries. In this example, I use a public data set of 200,000 newspaper headlines to illustrate similarity search on unstructured text data. First, I create an external table on top of the data set. Then I create a table with a vector column, which I populate with the headlines plus their vector representations, calculated using the vector embedding and the two vector functions. This takes around 40 minutes, which is a great performance. Keep in mind that I run the demo in a single core Docker container with the three, with 23 AI free release. Then I'm ready to run a similarity search query. I search the top five headlines that have a semantic similarity to my reference sentence, which is little red corvette. The smaller the distance between a stored vector and the vector representing the reference sentence, the more similar the reference sentence with the headline. So a similarity search is actually a search for the closest vectors to a reference vector. And here you can see I use the vector distance function to filter the results. Observe that this search is very efficient. The distances between the vector representing little red corvette and all the 200,000 vectors stored in the table have been calculated. Then the five closest vectors have been returned. If we need to improve the performance of similarity search, we can use vector indexes. There are two kinds of indexes, in-memory and disk-based. To create an in-memory neighbor graph vector, we need to configure a new instance parameter, vector memory size. This new memory pool is part of the SGA, and there will be stored the in-memory vector indexes. Here you can see I create an in-memory neighbor graph index. I 
I define a target accuracy. We will come back to that in a minute. Then I run the same query as before indexing with the same reference sentence, little red corvette. And we can compare the result. We got the same result, but we have a performance twice better. If we retrieve the execution plan, we can observe that the vector index was used. And we can even calculate the exact accuracy that we got with this query. Remember the target accuracy was 95%. And we can get the actual accuracy we got with this short PLSQL. Here you can see we achieved 100% accuracy, 5% higher than the target accuracy. Currently, DML are not supported on tables indexed with an in-memory neighbor graph vector index. In this case, the index should be dropped and recreated after the DML are executed against the table. But we can also create a disk-based neighbor partition index whose blocks will be cached in the SGA regular buffer cache. And this kind of index will allow DML to be run against the table. So here I create a disk-based neighbor partition index. And you can see that I can run DML on the underlying table. I insert a new row and I calculate the vector embedding for this new row. And that's it. The new AI vector search feature is compatible with all the database features, like for example, here application clusters, rack or true cache. To APFI or similarity search queries through REST endpoints, we can use Oracle REST Data Services, ORDS. So here I grant a new role to my vector user schema and I enable ORDS in that schema. Then I connect to the schema and I define a new ORDS service that will map a URL to the similarity search query we have used before. Pay attention to the bind variable here that we will pass typically on the URL. And we can run a similarity search through a REST endpoint with a curl. And we pass the bind variables. The value of the bind variable is passed on the URL directly. And we get the not the same result because we added, remember, we we added a new row, the new vector in our table. So it's the top one. And but the, the remaining vectors are the same. Of course, we can search for something else. Again, we passed the value of the bind variables on the URL and we get a different result for this query. So let's have a look at what we have learned in this short demo. To generate vectors, we need to calculate vector embeddings using embeddings models that can be either used outside or stored and used inside the database. These vector embeddings capture the semantic of unstructured data and are stored in the database as vectors using the new 23AI vector data type. Vectors are then used to support similarity search, the similarity between two pieces of unstructured data being represented by the distance between their two vectors. When needed, vector indexes can be created, either in memory or on disk, to speed up similarity search queries. And last but not least, similarity search can be APFied as REST endpoints using Oracle REST data services. Thanks for your time.